I think y'all could relate to this, but has there ever been a movie that when you're watching that talks about something that's happened far in the future, right? Like 2050, 2100, you name it, 2200. You see artificial intelligence doing crazy things. Artificial intelligence doing things that were not nearly possible 10 years ago. But now it's possible today. For the longest time, like on my iPhone, you have something like Siri that's terrible, right? You have Google, Ask Google, you name it, right? Amazon, what is Amazon? Alexa, that have machine learning capabilities and they still seem stupid. <laughs> and then ChatGPT comes along and now people are integrating all of these different artificial intelligence apps with ChatGPT, with voice automation and etc. Now you can integrate ChatGPT with another software that speaks in behalf of ChatGPT. So now you can add a voice to that and it makes your life easier. There are things like AutoGPT that are coming out that are making people's lives easier and doing crazy things. What Apple has not been able to do with Siri in 10 plus years, okay, in 10 plus years, people have been able to do in ChatGPT in just a couple of months. That is crazy. I saw on TikTok the other day where a kid integrated some machine vision, right, that they're working on, some machine learning vision with ChatGPT, where now all you have to do is literally place the product on the camera and ask ChatGPT, what is this? And I'll tell you what it is just by looking at it. And this person did in what, matter of days? It is crazy. And, and I've been wondering about this for a while. What will this do to software engineers? I know I'm late on this. ChatGPT has been around for a couple months. People making a ton of videos on it. But the reason I didn't make a video on this is because I had no opinions. I just wanted to use the product and use it to see how it can make my life easier. But obviously, every couple of weeks, every other week, if not now, every couple of days, I would start to think, is it at a point or how soon will it get to a point where it will replace me. That's what I really want to focus on right now. It's kind of crazy and scary to think about. Over the last couple of weeks, now that I started uploading videos again, people have been leaving tons of comments about, Chris, what are your thoughts about ChatGPT? Chat Chris, will ChatGPT replace us? Chris, because of ChatGPT, I'm not going to learn code anymore. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go into something that won't replace me like fixing cars. It's understandable that people feel the way they feel. Because I, too, am worried. Like, oh, gosh, what will this do to me? But I think people have the wrong idea, are panicking in a way, thinking that it's over for us. I don't think that's the case. Now, can it be? It's very possible. I think it's possible. One of the podcasts that I listen to often is All In Talk podcast. I'll try to find a clip, and maybe I'll put it in here. Maybe not. We'll see. But in one of the podcasts, they talked about how through ChatGPT, a 1X engineer was able to do what a 10x engineer could do, but even faster. Because this is the dream. Everyone wants to be the 10x engineer, right? They talk about how there's someone who's a 1x engineer that was able to do what a 10x engineer could do because of ChatGPT. What, what took a company years to build, Angry Birds, I think the game was Angry Birds, with ChatGPT, someone who has not as much knowledge as a 10x engineer to build a mobile app was able to do that in a matter of a couple of days, if not a week. But anyway, they talked about how just because of ChatGPT, one X engineer can do that. And then another billionaire on the podcast talked about how with this new open source product project on GitHub called um, ChatGPT Auto, AutoGPT. It's called AutoGPT. AutoGPT has allowed us to give ChatGPT tasks to work on, like a to-do list, and that they need to continue working until they find a solution with the tasks that we've given them <laughs> which is amazing i've been working around with this what i've been doing because i'm uploading video get videos again i'm working with sponsors again and i've been using chat gpt or auto gpt to and i'm trying to do i'm in the process of trying to do this to read my email check for emails from sponsors and to tell me exactly what they're looking for is their offer too low? Because this is the set of rate that I have for sponsors and to send them an email, right? To send them an email when they respond, follow up with me first and then send them another email and pretty much negotiate for me. <laughs> I used to have a channel manager that I paid pretty decent 
to do that for me. I don't have a channel manager anymore. Well, I, he, he quit before I fired him a couple months ago. That's kind of crazy. Now, what I do for a living, I'm a developer advocate. When I make a YouTube video for work, what I do is I use ChatGPT to turn that YouTube video that I made and turn it into a blog post. It's not perfect yet. It's not perfect. And I still have to make changes. But it just makes my life so much easier. And so where am I going out with this, right? People are, I, I understand how people are worried thinking that AI will replace us. But from my experience so far, I don't see it replacing me. But it really makes my life better. And to be honest, it makes me a much better developer. So many people have told me or left comments and messaged me in emails. Chris, is it going to replace me? No, it's not going to replace you. Because number one, you still need to know a little bit of programming to tell ChatGPT what to do for you. Right. Now, one good point that someone made. Well, one good point that another person made on a podcast, all on talk podcast, was how people who get paid for the knowledge they have developers, lawyers, doctors, that knowledge is not replaced by ChatGPT. And meaning that now that person that used to, you, that you used to pay so much money because of the knowledge that they have, that's why we were paid so well because of our knowledge, our technical knowledge. Now you can get that information from ChatGPT, right? So then what that could mean for people like you and me who work in tech, is that we'll be paid less. I can see that happening 100%. But at the same time, it makes me a better developer. The fact that I can build a, a tic-tac-toe in Python in a couple seconds using ChatGPT and use that to turn it into a different app in just a couple of days, testing bugs, et cetera, you name it. I think that makes me a better developer. I think that makes me even more valuable. The fact that I don't need to spend an entire weekend to learn something, a new technology, but rather now use my new tool, ChatGPT Plus, to build something much more quickly rather than spending maybe a month to learn something. Now I'm a more productive developer. Again, I don't see it replacing me at all. I see it making my life easier. Now, I think, I, I do think, I mean, we have to see what it goes in two or three years. But let's just say that AI gets to a point where it can replace all of us or most of us. Then what does that mean for you and me? I think that means we have to be able to leverage ChatGPT. We have to learn how to use it. If you're, if you're a developer and you're only using ChatGPT to build things, which is great. That's amazing. But I think you're doing things wrong. Yes, continue doing that. But I think more than just using ChatGPT through their website, I think what's important is learning how to build things with it, how to work with the API, how to build different things. Try to build things. Even if it's been built before, build it again. Someone built AutoGPT, build your own version of AutoGPT. You'll fail, and then you'll probably get it done using GPT. That makes you even that much more valuable. That is actually what I'm doing, right? I'm traveling a lot for work. When I'm not making videos, when I'm not making podcasts, what I am initially doing on my own is building things with GPT. <laughs> Try new things, failing a ton, testing things, building up my curiosity around AI and how to better use it as a developer. I think that if ChatGPT does get to a point where it can replace us, then be one of the developers that knows how to build things with it, make you even that much more valuable, makes you irreplaceable in a way. <laughs> anyway. Those are my thoughts on GPT. Will it replace us? Probably eventually. But I really don't think so. I think it will get to a point where we just learn how to use it better. But, but let me end this in one note. And with one question, not one note. The founder of OpenAI said that his goal when building GPT was to make it better than humans in every possible way. <laughs> Despite everything what I said, please let me know your thoughts on that. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the next video.